And we are back with more Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 3, and we are done with the garden, and moving on to the hall. And in the hall you have, a uh, different music, different level design, well, not really different level design, but different music, different enemies, and, uh, just, some um, different gimmicks. I mean, there are a few different gimmicks, but not really that many. I mean, instead of, uh, Daffy Duck, you get Sylvester acting like Daffy, and then Foghorn Leghorn acts like... Uh, Tweety. So you're not really missing much enemy-wise. I mean, all the enemies pretty much act the same. You only have like three types of enemies. They just look different. And uh, what I meant by the schizophrenic difficulty of this game is that what it's going to do is that every time you reach a new section, the uh, levels get shorter again. So it goes from a uh, really short to a uh, medium to really long, and then back to really short. Not really sure why the game designer decided to go with this, but I don't know. I guess that was just their call and not mine. And, uh, what you have to do here is you have to take the warp on the bottom left, so just wait until Foghorn Leghorn's at a safe distance before you proceed onward. And if you do that, that's really the only way you can get tripped up in this stage. Is that if you do just that, because this is a very short stage, as you can see. And, uh... It is, uh, actually pretty similar to a Crazy Castle 1 level in which the stage is very short. So now we got all eight keys and left a little present for Foghorn Leghorn, let's get out of here. And all sections do have 15 stages, so I think I already went over that. And uh, right here you can get Sucker, or you can get uh, blindsided by Sylvester. I was gonna say Sucker Punch, but that wouldn't really make any sense. But anyway, moving along, there are a lot of Sylvesters that can sneak up on you in these uh, early parts, and I mean, really, that's the only thing. You still have your uh, pause function, you can always do that, and uh, just make sure one that uh, you do take a look around before you start the stage. I guess that's one thing I could have done a much better job of during this entire series. And right here, I'm just trying to see where everybody is so I can improvise. And that's uh, one thing that's actually different from Crazy Castle 2 as well as Crazy Castle 1, is that there is a lot more improvising necessary because um, it's actually harder to tell like where enemies are going to be when. I mean, it's not like it's going to be harder to tell, it's that since they're faster, they can chase you directly, and also they'll be on your tail a lot more, so you do have to change your mind pretty quickly about where you're going. And, um... I think that last door on the bottom right's a carrot, but I don't really bother and get it, I just go for the exit. Well, actually, there were both Sylvester's surrounding the exit, so I had to get out of the way. But instead, now that that one got out of the way, let's just finish this. So yeah, these early stages are very short, and then they will get a lot longer as, uh this section goes on, but really this or this uh, part is basically going to be going through a lot of pipes, some warps, and um, that's pretty much it just to get to all the keys, as well as um, some other cool stuff. And um, yeah, all I'm doing here is just going through pipes, and do be aware that Sylvester will take the first pipe down if it's uh, leading towards you. I mean, that's just what I meant by chasing it directly. And I decided to save that shield because, uh, I'm actually gonna need it on the way up. But I decided not to get it because I still need to get those, uh, other keys on the pipes that are the doors that are a bit below that shield. So instead, what I'm doing here is just clearing out this room before I go onward. And, uh, just getting on that shield. And the good thing about the shield is that, um... It at least gives you a clear indicator it's working. I mean, if you were playing on a Game Boy... I mean, like Crazy Castle 2, if you were playing on Game Boy... It'd be kinda tough to uh, tell when the shield was working and when it wasn't. I mean, you had the music at least to tell you otherwise. So at least you had that going for you. And now that we're done here, let's just bomb him and get out to the exit. That was another fairly easy level.
And now just two more levels left, and this is a pretty short video. I mean, with proper editing. I do end up dying once, but... You will see that as it happens. And here we're introduced to, uh, the shooting guy, which is gonna be Rocky, the, uh... Dude in the trench coat and the top hat. He's your basic, or your basic stereotype mobster. So all I have to do is just make sure you don't get caught off guard by his shooting. Because, uh, just like Elmer Fudd, he can kill you in one hit with, uh, one of those shots. So all we're doing here is just, uh, collecting more stuff. And, uh, really it's just, uh, about acting quick. And making sure you don't get caught off guard by anybody. And really the hall... I actually find the hall to be a little bit easier than the garden because... Um, it uses all the same gimmicks, like by that time you already learned all the gimmicks by the time you exited the garden. But instead, the hall, uh, features easier stages. And right there is just me getting a bit ahead of myself and using the... Uh, see, secret. I thought, uh, Sylvester was actually gonna go towards me instead of away from me. So I got a little bit ahead of myself and ended up using the 100 ton weight a little bit too early. And that last key actually is on the, uh, top right. Is it, uh... Actually, that's just a hammer. You actually do need the hammer to get to the last key. But here is where I run into trouble and actually have trouble uh, getting to that part where you need the hammer in order to get to the last key. Because right here I think I have it, but then Sylvester catches up and then gets there, beats me to the spot. So, trying that again. And really, once you get the last key, all you have to do is just uh, go up there and take the warp. And then the warp will lead you right to the exit. And that's no big deal. So on to the last stage for today. And uh, this is when the stages start to get a little bit bigger. And uh, right here you see there's a big drop down as well as some pipes. And uh, what I need to do is just wait for Foghorn Lighthorn to move his ass over. So I can get to that door. And, um, yeah, that's really all I'm trying to do now, and then, right after that, there are gonna be some sections where you have to use pipes. But other than that, this stage really isn't too tough. You just have to mine the Foghorn Leghorns, and there is actually a lightning bolt you can get that returns from the second game. And just like before, the lightning bolt takes out all the enemies on the screen. So what I'm trying to do is just make sure I have my shot lined up properly, and... Yeah, see, all the Sylvesters are down there, so I do want to go after those guys. And uh, you do so by waiting for the Foghorn Leghorn to... Well, I guess wait for the Foghorn Leghorn to go there and then go down. That's the easy way. Or what I'm doing, which is just completely bass backwards and just going to take the long way. And what I'm trying to do here is just make sure that I have enough Sylvesters on the screen so I can take them all out at once. And right here I'm just waiting. Yeah, so this is where you can kind of put yourself into a corner by trying to be a little bit too patient. Yeah, I probably should have edited some of this out. But instead I just, uh, decided to get impatient and only took out one of them. And right here, what I'm doing is just uh, trying to sweep the rest of the area. Yeah, see, yeah, that's where I get myself into trouble. The good news is there's a pipe to get you out of it, just in case you do end up doing anything wrong and getting yourself into trouble. But yeah, other than that, this uh, stage really isn't too tough. I mean, you could get tripped up if uh, Bill Sylvester's gang up on you and surround you, but... Other than that, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this section. And with that, let's just get to the exit. And just in case you missed anything, there's a shield. And with that, we are done with five stages for today. See you next part.